As the tension between Russia and the Ukraine heats up, the world has seen the global stock markets performing poorly. Hey, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Holly Shields for Calcine Media. The Stocks Europe 600, that is, the index for European stocks, has declined in light of these developments. Meanwhile, the indices in Frankfurt, London and Paris were all down between 1 and 2 percent. So what exactly is happening between these two countries and how is it affecting the rest of the world? For those not up to speed, tensions arising between Russia and the Ukraine amid fears that Moscow could launch a full-fledged invasion. Reports claim that Russian troops are present in large numbers near the two nations' borders. Ukraine has claimed that Russia could try to destabilize the country through military invasions, although Russia has denied these accusations. And with each passing day, the conflict is witnessing a new development. Recently, EU senior official Joseph Borrell announced that if Russia invades the Ukraine, the European Union is geared up to counter the attack. He stated that the EU is ready to provide its unwavering support to the Ukraine and that any military assault against the Eastern European nation will result in major consequences. Now, how is all this affecting the stock markets? Well, historically, periods of uncertainty are the worst for the equities market. Stocks suffer the most whenever there's uncertainty across the world due to a warlike situation or a public health crisis. When there was uncertainty during the initial breakout of the coronavirus pandemic, stock markets took a nosedive across the world. And similarly, as tensions rise between Russia and the Ukraine, it's expected that the equities markets will suffer until there's some clarity over the situation. Unfortunately, there is already uncertainty over interest rate hikes in Canada, leading to an overall poor performance over the past few trading sessions. The added fears of a military invasion in the Ukraine are likely to impact the Canadian markets negatively. Even sectors like energy, financials and information technologies have been down lately because of this. So it seems that the world will have to wait and see how this conflict is going to unfold. Now that you're up to speed, check out some of our other videos to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkine Media.